Good morning. It's Friday. Rainy Friday. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. We are coming to you from our office this morning. We had great plans to go to breakfast. We did. <laughs> but the day's crazy. Multiple buyers and sellers. So yes. we've compromised. Here we are. Here we are. And this morning we have a special guest, Liz Now with Movement Mortgage. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes. Happy thanks, for, to have you. thanks for coming in. Liz, talk to us a little bit about what's going on in the mortgage business right now. Well, like you said, you're very busy. The market is hot, very hot. And with interest rates low, this is the time to buy definitely and to refinance. Believe it or not, I'm continuously getting refi applications, you know, from people that, you know, just didn't know that they need to go ahead and jump on that bad and secure that low interest rate. Exactly, because they're saving a lot of money. Absolutely, and Sharon and I are noticing with our clients, it's so important that as a buyer, you meet with a lender before you go out and look at properties right now. I cannot tell you how many times we, we get to a property, yes. we're telling them, okay, you need to call the lender real quick, and then before they can even get a pre-approval generated, the property's under contract. Yes. You are so correct. My... Quote is no before you go. No before you go. <laughs> That's Remember <good>. that. <laughs> because number one, that borrower may not qualify for that house that they're looking at. Or they need closing costs. We don't know that. Exactly, so they, so. exactly. So many factors. And the thing it is, they might not want that high of a house payment. So another thing I think that probably you find is People think they've got a great credit, and then they get to you and find out they've got stuff existing on their credit that they're not even aware exactly, of. Exactly, exactly. You'd be surprised in this day and time with all the credit monitoring, you know, um, mm. things out there. They're not using them. They're not taking advantage of them. And, you know, people can get a free credit report once a quarter. Wow. So that's good. That's good for yeah. a buyer to and to and where would they go, Liz? Kind of tell tell our um our viewers where they could go to, to get that. Well, they could go like on Experian. Okay. You know, they mm -hmm. go to Credit Karma, uh, freecreditreport.com, any of these sites. Great. So talk to us a little bit about some jumbo loans, because I've heard some folks, some mortgage companies don't offer jumbos. Well, fortunately, our company has a wide um, product line on jumbos oh, wow. um, through several different banks. So um, if, if a customer might not qualify for this jumbo product, we have this other one as a backup. So we have options. We have options. Which is great, because we are seeing these higher priced homes going under contract great. quickly. And, and the good thing, the Fannie maximum loan limit in this area increased um, this year to 546.250. Wow. So, that's awesome. And that's another thing with these low interest rates. You know, the buyers have more buying power. You know, they may not have qualified for this $250,000 house, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. But now with the low rates in the twos, you know. What is the interest rate currently? Um, for a 30-year fixed on a purchase, you're looking anywhere from two and three quarters, two and seven eighths, with no points. Okay. You know, of course, okay. they can always buy points, but I like to show them the difference. Is it worth saving $12 a month, you know, Versus and paying $2,000, whatever, yeah. right? Right. Okay, great. Well, that was great. What, what's happened in real estate this week, Sharon? Because we've been busy. Okay, so I'm going to go over the numbers um, this week versus last week. So this week we had 71 new listings. Last week we had 80. This week we had 63 closed. And last week we had 77. And pendings, we, this week we had 92. Last week we had 112. Okay, so we're holding strong. The biggest, I, I think what has slowed these numbers down a little bit is the lack of inventory, Kenny. I mean, we really... Um, we really need some new listings. So you guys, if there's anyone out there's even, you know, a possibility of wanting to list their home, please feel free to contact us because let me say this, this market is moving and we've got a lot of buyers and we don't have enough inventory to supply to them. To support it. Yep. And, it. and it may be one of the best business practices and transactions you've done the entire years to put your house in the market now. 
it, you're exactly right. It is, mm. Let me just say this, um, talking about last year versus um, this year, we are down in new listings by 14% all over Carter County in single family homes. So that tells you why the numbers aren't where they where, where they would they would actually be higher if we had more had inventory. More inventory. Right. Now's the time to be able to really push the boundaries with list price. And even right now, total active, Kenny, from last year to this year is down 39%. Unbelievable. So folks, if, if there if you're even thinking about listing, now's the time. There's lots of opportunity for you. And right now, some folks are actually getting more for their homes than it's actually listed for because of the lack of inventory in the market. Give us a call today if you'd like to know more about how to sell your home. Thanks. See Have you a great guys. weekend. Thank you. Thank you for having me.